Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. This is what we're drinking right now. This is a quarterly series where we talk about outside of the channel, outside of tastings, outside of all the other things that we do, just the stuff that we happen to be enjoying the most from time to time. And strangely, right now we're in the month of January. We're really not drinking all that much, but there are a couple of bottles that we've returned to over the last couple of months for various reasons, and we're going to tell you a little bit about them. Phil has a couple, I have a couple, and Mavis has one. Good for Mavis. <laughs> First up is a bottle that was gifted to us by our friend Grizz. Yay, thanks Grizz. Several months ago. It's from Mammoth Lakes, California. It's Devil's Creek Distillery. This is a California straight bourbon whiskey, and this is a cask strength that's just under 100 proof. It is barrel proof, actually, and it's aged two years and one month. So it was not the most uh, well-aged, but it was aged at a high altitude, and for whatever reason, it seems to have done the trick. And this one is not a bottle we ever meant to put on the channel. It's one of those things that nobody really sees. It's hard mm -hmm. to find out there. But we rediscovered it on the back of the shelf lately, and it is the perfect mixer for my old fashioned. Yeah, Julie likes her old fashions with black walnut bitters and maple syrup, and I actually like to drink this one neat. It tastes like vanilla and cowtails, and there's a lot of goodness in there. It's got an oily mouthfeel. Cocktails, neat, whatever you have. This is a really nice bottle from Mammoth Lakes, California, of all places. And every time we drink this, it brings back good memories because we went there last summer for the first time and loved it. It was great. And for those who have been asking, we did finally get our cocktail set. <laughs> We're real adults with a real <laughs> cocktail set. So expect more cocktail content in the near future. Sorry if there's a lot of noise in the background. The cat is going bananas right now. Every time we try to do something, it's playtime. It is playtime <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Next on the list is Nashville Barrel Rye. And the reason I started getting into this is because we picked it up, I think it was two summers ago at yeah. this point, or two falls ago, and we didn't want to drink it. Like, it was so delicious that we just kind of been holding on to it, and we got to the point where we need to start drinking some of these bottles. Right, yeah. At some <laughs> point, just start opening the bottles that are really good, and that's what we've chosen to do lately. This bottle here, eight years aged, 114-ish proof, MGP whiskey, and it's absolutely delicious. Everything from Nashville Barrel is great. But yeah, it's a good example of if you've got the bottle and it's been on your shelf and you, if you've had it for a year and you haven't opened it, just open it. Share it with somebody. Invite somebody over, even if they're not a whiskey drinker, and introduce them to a new flavor. It's just that type of bottle where we've been holding it for so long we thought, why don't we just open this thing? And I kept thinking, maybe it won't live up to the experience that we had in the tasting room. Totally delicious. Totally delicious. <laughs> Well, here comes another bourbon, and this is very un-bourbon van of us. It's another <laughs> finished whiskey, which we keep talking about these finished whiskeys on the channel lately, but this is High West Whiskey, American Prairie Bourbon. It is a cask strength single barrel from here in Central Oregon. It is 98 proof, and it's finished seven months in Merlot barrels, of all things. And maybe it's just because this winter we're drinking more red wine than usual for some <laughs> reason, but this drinks like a whiskey, finishes like a wine, and that transition of flavors for some reason works really well. This one sold for $50, which to me is a great value for a single barrel. It seems like every single barrel we see lately is $70, $80, $100. Yeah. So High West from Utah, this is like the fifth bottle that we've gotten of this in a row that we've really enjoyed. We went from not being the biggest fans of High West to actually liking what they're doing quite a lot. Yeah. And this bottle, just like that Aqua V Finish Rye, is right near the top of the list of the stuff that we've tried from High West. I love this one. We might have to go to Park City soon. I would love that. So next is a bottle we're not going to tell you that much about <laughs> because we have a video coming out on Wednesday that reviews this entire bottle. Yeah, we won't get into the details too much, but this is Blackened X Wes Henderson Edition. It is a bourbon that is finished in white port wine casks. Another finished whiskey. What are we even doing with our <laughs> lives over here right now? But this is cask strength. It is huge flavors, really unique stuff. And you'll find out in a couple of days when we do this tasting what we really thought of it, but the one thing I will tell you, the flavors just keep on stacking up. This thing is layers of flavors, and we're still digging flavors out of it. So that's why it's on the list, because we're really curious about it. We can't stop going to this bottle trying to find new flavors. And we've been sharing it with people, and they're as intrigued as we are. Everybody's intrigued by this bottle. We got a real professional bottle up next. Yeah, you can tell that we're collectors because we have little <laughs> bottles like this with no labels on them. This was actually gifted to us, this sample, uh, by some friends of ours. It is Belvaney Portwood 
21 year scotch whiskey. It's so flavorful and it's weird to say it, but it's refreshing. After 21 years of aging, it is complex, it is flavorful, and oh yeah, port wine finished. What are we even doing over here? But that's Three where that's where our taste buds have taken us this winter. And by the way, it's a $250 bottle here in Oregon, so a very much appreciated sample. Yes. By the way, the sample was filled up to uh, nearly the top. Thank goodness we're doing the video this week because next week, this won't be around. And what Mavis is enjoying are these little mouse treats that she was <laughs> sent by our Patreon friend, Kathy Huey. She sent us several of these last week when she sent us some samples and Mavis is bananas about them. It's been very interesting going from Norman, our old timer cat, to this spring chicken of one and a half. She has more energy than I do. I'm exhausted. <laughs> So that's what we're drinking right now. What are you guys drinking? Let us know in the comments. And join us two days from now when we talk a lot more about that Blackened X Wes Henderson cask strength bourbon. And from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.